My name is Vince Bond. I'm from Australia and I've been suffering from frozen shoulder since uh, February this year. It started really back in 2008 when I injured my shoulder with a pair of pruners working in the garden. But then I injured it again February this year. Progressively I lost a lot of mobility in my right arm so I could only do 25% I was told of what I could do before. But the worst thing is it affected my ability to live because I could not sleep. My brain was in a fog because I could not think. So it affected my life. The physical part was not really so important, but the impact on my life was absolutely horrible. The procedure for my shoulder was as I had been explained to me. It was like it was explained. So it was not a surprise, first of all. And everyone was very friendly and everyone helped me to relax, which was very important. And the team was supporting everything that the doctor did in a fantastic way. And then part way through the procedure, he did something that was the critical thing to do. <coughs> he fixed my frozen shoulder. I will never forget for the rest of my life. I have been doing the post-procedure uh, exercises that are uh, part of the, of the treatment and uh, some things I have found easy, some things I have found more difficult, but everything is exactly as it was explained. And uh, I can move my arm like I used to move my arm before I had the problem in most things. You know, you always find other people that need treatment the same, especially when you've had it yourself. <laughs> and now I am very happy to recommend Dr. Allen. And I would say to them, do not go and get surgery. That is the last thing that you want to do. If something doesn't work, maybe you have to. I don't know. But don't do that first. That's a big, big mistake. And don't get some of the other procedures that are all surgical either. Not only knives, but this treatment would be beneficial for many people around the world. I am sure. And the statistics that I have read suggest that it is becoming a bigger problem in some countries especially what we call the, the advanced countries. Maybe they're not so advanced, but that's what we call them. And it seems to be something about the 21st century living that is making this problem bigger. I'd just say this to <coughs> Australians, and I'd include New Zealanders in that, good guys. We live a long way away from the rest of the world with a lot of ocean in between. And for something like this, there's only one way to do it. Get on a plane and go.